Hey, what's up? What's up? It's your boy Ken, and I'm back to you with another one. Hey, man. So I want to kind of retouch the uh, Triple G, aka Triple B, Bum Lufkin, the Bum Basher. Okay. So a lot of people say he's in the top five, pound for pound, right? And I totally disagree. I think that mm, he just has advantages that other people don't have, and that he's not as good as he um, portrayed to be. You remember one time he said that he was the boogeyman or whatever. And when it came to fighting, you know, stiff competition, tough competition, you know, he always went for the lesser opponent. And let's get into it. Okay, so we already know his next fight is uh, Steve Rose, right? Who is Steve Rose? I don't know. But the man only has a two-star with showing the caliber of fighter that he is, right? Bum. But it looks good on the resume because the guy is 19 and 0, right? You know, so when you go back and for the people who's just glossing over, uh, you know, resumes, they would look at Gennady Golovkin, a.k.a. Triple B, the bum basher, um, and say, oh, man, this dude had an incredible resume. And that can't be farther from the truth. This man has ducked his way to a, a Canelo Alvarez fight. Now, let's see who he fought. Because to me, the standard for a Hall of Fame fighter, you should fight at least six or more, you know, top elite 50-50 fights. That's me. That's just my opinion. You know, just like your opinion, you know, far for pound for pound might be different than mine. Right. But that's my standard. OK, so at least six 50 50 fights. Right. Just like uh, Floyd Mayweather. He fought the Corrales. He fought the Canelo Alvarez. He fought the the um, uh, who else? Oh, um, dang, I forget the cast name, but he fought a, a, a bunch of 50 50 fights. Right. And good fighters at that. But. Golovkin refused to fight the best fighters. Okay, so let's just go down the road, right? We already know that it's set for uh, June 8th that he will fight Steve Rose, right? Which I'm not watching, even though I am a good boxing fan. I mean, a uh, hardcore boxing fan. I just don't like it. Because you have Demetrius Andre open. You have... Um, other fighters, he can even fight, fight Corobo. Like you, he have a ton of people that are open, but he choose to fight somebody that doesn't even um, have above two stars. And then Ava Sanchez made a comment, which later on, like now, turn around and bite him. What he said? Oh, he don't fight black fighters. Black 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 fighters doesn't uh, sell. So why are you fighting one? Which is Steve Rose, right? Okay, so let's get into it. All right. So previous before that, he fought um, Canelo Alvarez, right? He lost. Couldn't knock him out as he was the destroyer, right? Couldn't knock Canelo out. A smaller guy. Then, but before he fought Canelo. He basically cherry picked Vanis Matarosin. He is a junior middle middleweight. Not even in his division. Didn't want to fight Charlo, Doug Charlo, didn't want to fight Demetrius Andre, didn't want to fight nobody that can beat him. Mainly because he is afraid of losing. And he understands that he's not as good as people want to portray him as, right? Okay, let's say uh the other reason would be that he didn't want to mess up a Canelo Alvarez fight, right? So he fought Canelo again uh, prior to the Vinus Matarosin. And the only reason he fought Vinus Matarosin is because Canelo popped dirty for Clint Buterol. Okay, let's go before that. He fought Danny Jacobs. Great fight. However, I had Danny Jacobs winning that round at least eight rounds to four. And some people might say, oh, he did not win, and he knocked him down in the fourth round, and blase, blase, blase. Okay, whatever. 
I had him, I had Danny Jacobs winning. And then if you go back, just go back to when they announced the winner. Look at Gennady Golovkin face and go look at the other times where he knocked his opponent out. Look at his face then. Man, look, the soul, the eyes, you know, is is you know the is the soul, right? Basically, if they would have looked at Gennady Golovkin, a.k.a. Triple B, face, they would have understand that he knew he lost that fight. But instead, they wanted to, um, you know, uh, set up a, a Canelo Alvarez versus Triple G fight, right? All right, so they got it. But before that, this was really his first step up. And don't shoot the messenger. He even said it. Kell Brooks was Gennady Golovkin's first step-up fight, right? And he was pretty much getting handled up until the time that he ended up stopping. Well, up until the time Kell Brooks actually threw the towel in, you know, because he, he had messed his eye up, right? And so now let's go before that. Then you got Dominic Wade, bum. David Lemieux, bum. Willie Monroe, bum. Martin Murray is a bum. Marco Antonio Rubio didn't fight him in his prime. So when he fought him, he fought like a bum. Daniel Gale, bum. Adama Asu, uh, uh, Asumanu, bum. Curtis Stevens, bum. Got knocked out by an uh, even worse bum, which is David Lemieux. David Lemieux. Got outclassed by Billy Joe Saunders. Bad, right? So then we got Matthew Macklin. Bum. But here's the here's the thing, right? Where it looks like Gennady Golovkin is just so great. He fought Dominique Wade, 18 and 0. David Lemieux, 34 and 2. Willie Monroe, 19 and 1. Martin Murray, 29 and 1 and 1. Marco uh, Antonio Rubio, 59-6-1. Daniel Gale, 30-2. 30, 30 you got o, uh, Adama Osumanu, 20-2-3. Uh, you got Curtis Stevens, 25-3. And, and then you got Matthew Macklin, 29-4. Then I don't even, I don't even want to pronounce this man's name. Okay, then you got Gabriel Rosado. Bum, the gatekeeper. And whoever this cat is, never heard of him. But it, his resume looks good. Uh, let's see something. Let's see, can we identify anybody that this man has fought? Uh, do you know Sergio Mora? I don't. Do you know uh, Norbert Sis Curry, whatever his name? Do you know Kerry Hopes? Oh, do you know uh, Sebastian uh, Sylvester? No, you don't. Do you know Peter uh, uh, Vexi? No, you don't. You don't know none of these people. So, yes, his resume looks good, but he's a bum. He's not even a good fighter. Now let's go back to Triple G. Now, basically, what I'm getting at is Triple G um, record is patent. It was basically um, it was it was basically planned to a point to where they want to make him look like he has an impeccable resume. So I'm I'm saying all this, and the, and the reason I'm going over. His resume is for this reason. What did he do, right? Because they always say Jamal Charlo or Jamel Charlo didn't do nothing to deserve a fight. Prior to Canelo, what have Danny Jacobs, I mean, not Danny Jacobs, what have uh, Triple G done? Because actually, if you look, Danny Jacobs has a better resume. But what have Triple G done to deserve a Canelo Alvarez fight? That's a question that, you know, they ask 
um, the Charlos all the time. 